right, I want to give everybody a little spring update on some new plants we've planted and some uh, how some of the palms are doing after this uh, cold winter where we had a negative one Fahrenheit. And first we'll start off with one of the palms that did the best in our uh, yard. Uh, at least uh, we just covered it with frost cloth and this palm is the Sable Brazoria and has very little damage it took a little bit of spotting but compared with the other palms uh, uh, this palm did very well for the probably the best performing sable hybrid type palm we have uh, beside the uh, obviously the sable miners and that sort of thing and while we're here we'll show you one of the sable miners this palm's about three foot tall here we have a sable palmetto. And behind it up here, big and tall, is our, one of our large Trachycarpus fortunis. This is a male that's blooming. You can see the uh, it's starting to get a little far along, but the blooms are uh, kind of fading out now. The bees are all on them. Probably see the bees there going around on them. went ahead and put out a few of our tropical plants around. This one's got a little bit of damage through the winter, this cordy line. And I'll just point out something else that we use over that's a really tough plant, uh, these Christmas ferns. They're really doing real well if you put them in a fairly shady, uh, loose soil. They'll stay green all winter for you. and. Uh, uh, it's one of the only ferns here that can stay good and green over winter. Here's another look at the another angle of the Brazoria. You can see the spear has a little damage, but you can see at the bottom there where we marked it. And you can see a bloom coming up there. It's going to have another flower stalk. Here you can see the worst damage palm we have on the uh, property. And that's a, was a Sable, Louisiana. It's uh, got a mark there that's moving, but it lost basically all the fronds there. It has just a teeny tiny amount of green, and that's probably the worst damage thing we have. We'll go around here and look at some more things. Here's our little dwarf sable miner you can see it didn't have much damage it's uh it was uh went through winter real well and here's another one of our sable i think it's a sable miner of some sort originally was sold to us as a birmingham but it just doesn't seem to be getting that big like the birminghams did it sailed through winter real well as as well Got our large female trachycarpus. I'll have to try to get the camera where we can see it up here. Let's see if I can zoom back. You can see this palm is pretty large. This is a female. Here's what the female seeds the beginning parts of them look like they'll get bigger as time goes on here of course this palm was covered the best we could and heated over the one negative one fahrenheit down here we have canna coming back uh, this is a side note all these canna and uh, elephant ears and everything this year were pretty much 
just barely protected with a little mulch during the, the cold, the record cold. And as you can see, they're coming back everywhere. Uh, I don't think we lost hardly any of these. Yeah, here's another one of our female windmill palms, Trachycarpus fortunae. Got some Christmas ferns under it. This one's starting to pick up speed, starting to get pretty big. It's got about a uh, three or four foot trunk on it now. And here's our female Trachycarpus wagnerianus. <clears throat> so we've got some good seeds starting to form on it. <clears throat> Here's one of our new plants that we put down here in the shade of Fatsia japonica. Pineapple lily that we've had for a long time. Here's another new plant, uh, Cuba japonica. Both of these plants should be fairly evergreen in our area. Uh, might have some dieback if it gets real cold on, on them, but uh, we'll see how they do. <clears throat> Over here we have one of our male Trachycarpus fortunae. See it's blooming. And we got the other sable that did real well. Uh, really tall, getting close to six and a half or seven foot tall. Uh, Birmingham, it's got some spotting there, but uh, did pretty well considering it was a as cold as it was. <clears throat> Here we have our teeny tiny sable miner that's just starting to get its adult leaves here. <clears throat> and it's teeny tiny, very small. Look at one of the fronds. This thing is just very, very tiny. There's a Washingtonia robusta that we just repotted. And that's probably the end of the tour today. And uh, maybe we'll show some of the other stuff another day. Everything else is doing pretty good. That gives you a view of about half the yard, some of the things here. And uh, I'll give you a view of these three palms to, to say goodbye. And uh, hope everything, everybody's having a good day. And uh, it's that time of year if you want to plant some of your tropicals to get out there and plant some things and get going. And uh, here, I think uh, most of the cold weather is pretty much older, over. We have uh, one uh, uh, little dip down into about 38 coming up here in a, a few days, but that's probably about it. So everybody have a good day.